Hi guys, Wardrums here, and welcome to another Fall Guys video. In this video, I will give you some tips and tricks for the race event Wall Guys. Wall Guys was released in season 2, and at the time of this recording, it shows up very often. Oh, wait a second. Before we take a look at the movement, we need to do some preparations first. While this intro screen is moving, we want to try and notice a couple of things. First, you want to try and locate your own character. To make this easier on yourself, try and have a unique skin combination that you don't see very often and is easy to spot in the masses. From this point, we want to find the easiest way to get over the first wall. In this case, we have a couple of options. We can either run to the small box close to the wall, the big box to the right side of it, or the big box in front of it. In this case, I chose the big box in front, as I knew it would be less likely to be contested by other players. From here, I can jump over to the other box and then onto the wall. Next up, we want to try and find a path from the wall onto the next wall. Here it's important not to drop down too early, as the raised sections of the wall can help you with a nice boost onto some of the boxes. Since we entered the first wall right here, we can clearly see that right in front of us there are no big boxes to help us get onto the second wall. Therefore, we run along the top of the wall to try and find a better path. As we can see, there's a clear path in the middle from a medium box to a large box onto the third wall. Jump diving can often ensure you actually make the distance and don't fall short. We have now made it to the fourth section and once again we're lucky to have gotten a fairly straightforward path on the boxes. We have to be careful though, as the gaps are slightly bigger and if we fall, it will be harder to get back up. With some tight jumps and a very clutch grab, we make it on to the last wall. For the final section, we are yet again blessed with a direct path onto the wall. But as with the last section, the risk is even higher here. By now, you should know the drill. Some well-timed jumps and a clutch grab onto the wall. In this example, as there is a guy in front of me, I wait around a little bit on the last box to try and ensure that he does not block my way onto the wall. At the time of this recording, the grab mechanic of Fall Guys is very finicky, especially when it comes to grabbing ledges on wall guys. So sometimes, even though you think you have it, you will just fall down. In cases like this, you will have to think on the fly and try to find a way back up onto the high boxes. A good rule of thumb is to never grab a ledge when a person is standing on the top. As of right now, for some reason the grab mechanic prioritizes other players instead of the ledge that you want to grab. This is obviously easier said than done when a lot of players is around, but it's definitely worth keeping in mind. Sometimes, despite your best efforts, everything doesn't really go according to plan. In these cases, just keep on going. A lot of people have troubles with this map, so even when you think you're behind, you have a good chance of coming back. As an example, this entire clip that you've been watching took a minute and 10 seconds before I managed to make it over the wall. A lesser known fact about wall guys is that the walls in wall guys go down over time can easily be seen in this time lapse by either focusing on the bricks on the wall or the grove in the towers next to the wall. All of the walls start going down at different times and it is indicated by the cogwheels on the side of the towers. Sometimes when you make it to a new section there may not be an immediate path that you can take. In these instances if you are one of the first people there it is often good enough to play the nice guy and move the boxes in position. Other players standing on top of the box will make you move it slower, so sometimes you have to abandon and find a different path that somebody else has created. It is now your turn to take what you've learned from this video and apply it to your own gameplay. With enough practice, the W's will come in no time. If you enjoyed the video or just found it helpful, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe for more future guides. Also, let me know in the comments which map you would like to see a guide on next time. If there was a section of the video you didn't quite understand, 
or want me to flesh out some of the points that I had, make sure to find me on Twitch, where I stream every Tuesday, Thursday and Sunday, link in the description down below. I have been Wardrums, you have been you, and I will see you in the next video. Have a good day and a good life, bye.